wasteland. A desolate place darkened by the shadows of a dead civilization. There are no heroes. Only survivors. This is the story of one man's quest to find happiness. The perfect Nuka Break. I told you, I ain't paying for the wrong delivery. Oh, oh, come on, Chet. You know this isn't my fault. You always say that. Yeah, that's because it's always true. You ever think maybe you're just a terrible courier? No. I, I, I mean, I... You know as well as I do that all he did was carry the boxes. He didn't choose what was in them. Scar, don't! For you. Shh. I'd pay the kid if I were you. There. You happy? Very. Hmm. Now get out of here. And you can forget about any more business with me or this town. Excuse me. Excuse No! Oh! Don't worry. You're excused, prick. Really? What? He wasn't gonna pay us and I'm starving. Yeah, I'm starving too. Good fool me, fatty. Anyway, I thought we talked about this. I mean, you and I, we, we sat down, we talked about you not aiming guns at people, or or, or shooting them, or, or punching them, or yelling at yeah, them. Yeah, I got it. We got paid, didn't we? Yeah, actually, we did. Let's see. Barely. Well, it wasn't a total loss. Look what I got. Liquid and blood. Yeah. You stole these? Victimless crime. How so? Nobody died. That's not. No, he's right. That's not my brand, anyway. Well, suit yourself, fat boy. More for me. So now what? Set up our courier scam into the town. What? What? Scam. Yeah. It was like every single package we delivered from the beginning was wrong. Yeah, that was weird. It's not like one of us was switching out the item we were supposed to deliver with useless crap because he thought that the whole point was. Don't touch my bag. God damn it, Dad. What? I got the score and we got paid. What's the problem? We've skipped some levels. The problem is that now nobody can trust us. We're labeled as thieves and now no one's gonna hire us. You screwed us! That, uh, that, but, but, that, uh, that, just, you know what that's gonna do to me? Just, that's okay. That, that, okay. No, it's not that big of a deal, okay? The town southwest of here, this buddy of mine, will have some work for us. Something legit? It's all legit. Kinda. Fine. Jeez, what did you get some more? Oh! Oh, you were stealing! Oh, Ben. that? I don't know. I think of like a ham or something. What, like from an old religion? It must be. It's one of the things that sticks in your head. Oh, yeah. oh crap. What was that? 
be out this far. They're not raiders. They're too organized. Way too well equipped. What are we thinking? Ooh. Brad Roach is in a barrel? Dead man charge. Dead man's faint? Let me the human target. Oh, come on, man. Those ideas are just people shooting at me. Hey, statistically, two thirds of us survive. I like those odds. Oh. Okay, what about the lucky charmer? Oh, no, I hate that one, too. Well, it's either that or a chunky suicide bomber. Uh, in a stim pack. I. For the record, I hate you. For the record, I don't give a shit. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Hey, stop shooting! Stop shooting! Hey! Hey! Hey, guys! Hey, hey, hey! You guys, you know, I just want to talk. You, you guys know how to do that, right? Shut up. We're not here for you, fat man. <whistles> no, hey. Hey, up here. <laughs> you guys obviously know what you're doing. So, you know, let's, let's talk it out. You know, you guys get what you want, and... I get to go right that direction with my own life. Yeah, well, what if what we want is to kill you? Well, you just you just said you weren't here for me. Yeah, we lied. We're raiders. Are not. Are, are too. No, you guys are way too well dressed to be raiders. Ah, oh, you noticed. We set up an ambush. We fired at you a bunch. It makes us raiders. Big time. I think I'd rather be a bounty hunter than a raider. Jim, we'll talk about this later, okay? There's good money in bounties. You know, we're kind of doing bounty hunting right now. James, we will talk about this later, okay? Why do you always say that? Why can't we talk about it now? <laughs> no, it's not a good time. Well, but you, you got them all upset. You got them upset. You know, he cries. He always cries. We're going to talk about it later, okay, Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy. Hey, ladies, hey, ladies, ladies. What you guys really need to worry about right now are the two guns pointed right at your heads. Oh man. Scar, you should probably see this. Shit. What's that? That's why we were attacked. To understand their predicament, one must understand Scarlet's unique situation. Once a slave to Caesar's legion, she was bought by a man by the name of Leon Swallow. While being transported from Boulder City back across the Colorado River, her escort sought refuge from the oppressive wasteland sun in a cave. It was here that fate led Twig and Ben where they stumbled upon the group. A firefight ensued. In the confusion, the trio managed to make their escape. Now, hunted by the Legion, they find themselves on the wrong end of a very sharp spear. Okay, wait. Who has time to learn how to draw? Twig. I mean, we're in a world full of mutants and robots Please and people stop. killing each other over caps. And this guy learns how to draw? Twig, do you think that this is a game? That this is fun for me? Look on the bright side. It's 200 caps. How is that a bright side, huh? It used to be 150. That means we're moving up in the world. See, if that keeps up, we're gonna have some real hunters coming after us. Ben. Hardcore, cold-blooded, murdering bastards. They could be anywhere. Scar. Or anyone. Scar, don't- no. ah. Ow. I got you.
Sorry, Ben. Uh, I had it coming. Let's just find your friend. Okay. Star, I'm sorry. I... Yeah, it's fine. It's okay, Twig. Being mad at you is like being mad at a puppy. It's just too dumb to know any better. Come on, boy. Come on. What could you do? Come on. Good boy. We said we were lost. You said we were going to be there by now. And no, I just said you said we'd be there by now. Hey, hey guys. I'm tired of you when you're scared. Hey guys. I just wanted to know when we were going to be there. Hey guys. What? Is that it? Told you we weren't lost. <laughs> yeah, you're an asshole. I know. Hey, wait, wait up. Wait! Eastwood, huh? Hello? Such a dirty word from such a pretty mouth. I would choose your next move very carefully, Burnbag. What are you doing? Are you trying to get us killed? down. If they're gonna shoot us, they'd have done it already. Well, you've got some balls there, son. Now, who are you? What are y'all doing in my town? Well, actually, we're, we we're, here for... we're actually just looking for work, sir. Are you slavers? Caesar's Legion? No. No. Oh, no, no, not at all. Uh, I mean, no. far from it, sir. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Prove it. Uh. Um. Oh, the, the thing, the papers. Papers. Yeah, right. yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, oh, hey. Hey, sorry. Uh, I'm just going for my bag. I know it's right next to my gun. Sorry. Okay. Yep, yeah. It's, uh, it's actually right. I'll take that. You need to see this. Sorry. this something.
I am Touch Connors, mayor of Eastwood, the only true slavery-free town in the NCR. <laughs> Put her there. <laughs> Boop. Good to have you kids with us. <laughs> you see, Twit, I was born a slave myself. I got away, found a plot of land to call my own after I killed that worthless sack of shit who claimed it first. <laughs> Other slaves found their way here, and in time, we built Eastwood, and we keep it free. Every person here is a free man, and I aim to keep it that way. I mean, well, that's good. Well, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's real good. <laughs> so what did you say brings you this way again? You looking for work, is it? Oh, Actually, you... I'm looking for Larry. Is he around? Yeah. Larry's here. I don't care for him much myself, but, uh, you know, I don't say no to someone who brings business to town, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you can find him over by the general store. Thank you. So work. Yeah, I mean, well, he's got... His... Sir, we've got reports of geckos near the Brahmin. If you'll excuse me, uh -huh. matters demand my urgent attention. You enjoy your day. Uh, yeah, okay, no, I'm sure I will. Isn't that right, Scar? Or... Give it to her, come on. I got two caps on this. Scar? It's the best of the best. If you're looking for that extra boost in stamina, and I know you are, little lady, you've come to the right place. <laughs> Still trying to sell this crap, huh? Well, well, well. If it ain't Benji. <laughs> hey. Hey, nice weather, right? Hey, how you guys doing? Hi. Has anyone seen my friend? No? Hi. Hey, what's up? I'm looking for my friend. Now you owe me. Hey guys, I'm looking for my friend. How much? How much? How much? Yes! For the bottle? Yes! And what's in them? Yes? Hmm. I'd say... Yeah? Words. Speak words, old man. Oh. Three caps each. Great! I gotta say, boy. I never seen nobody drink so fast. You got a lead belly or something, Sonny? <laughs> it's been a while, Benji. <laughs> yes, it has. Not since New Reno, at least. Mm -hmm. Been in the stables lately? Uh, not since, uh, 63. You were there. I don't remember that. I do. I see you're still trying to make a living off of this crap. What can I say? Old habits. What have you been up to then? Traveling, mostly. How's that treating you? Shitty. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. Oh. It's not easy to say this, so I'll just go ahead and say it. Mm. I need a job. <laughs> mm. That is a big thing coming from you. Especially you. Yeah, blow it out your ass. Oh. I was hoping that this job could square my debt with you. 
I'm not quite sure your death's small enough to be handled by such a small job. I'm not talking about this. I've got friends. You? Friends. <laughs> hmm. Do you have any more? I got some, uh... I got some sunset. Does that look like Nuka-Cola? Uh, no, like I said before, sunset. Hmm. I'm, I'm talking about Nuka-Cola. Do you have any more Nuka? Oh, Nuka. Yeah? Is it? No, I just got sunset. Finish? That's right, that's what I told you. I told you girls can't play caravan. Let's go. Come on. I... Whoa. What? <laughs> How do you have that car? Hey. How do you have that? I gave you fair warning. Thank you. Ah! you. Oh, don't be Only like that. Only two chips ahead. Is he, is he crying? <laughs> Any good? No. But I'll take what I can get. A couple of smooth skins. Not like you to keep pets, Benji. Have you got a job or not? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I gotta see these friends of yours first. You know, I can just go back to not squaring my debt with you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, now don't be like that. I just wanna know they can handle what I need them to do. You got a problem with suicide missions now? I just don't want my time wasted. Again. That valuable, huh? Mm. Oh, fine. Just see for yourself. Sir. What possible reason could you have to interrupt my evening meal? Forgive me, sir, but we bring news from Nevada. The three mercenaries commissioned to return your wayward slave have failed. <sighs> you idiots. What happened? Our spies indicate that they were killed by her liberators northwest of Prim. Okay. Send in Daniels. I wish to speak with him. At once, sir. to see me, Leon? Yes, yes, I did. Your idea to use raiders to retrieve my Scarlet has failed. Perhaps it was a misjudgment to offer 200 caps for her, sir. I told you to offer 2,000. It was a misjudgment to charge you with such a specific task. We could not spare any additional men, sir. Your incompetence is disgusting to me. That you would willingly trust my Scarlet to such Degenerates. I should have you crucified. What would you have me do, sir? This is where those idiots were killed. That means they're moving toward California. It will be impossible to take legionnaires that far. I believe we should raise the reward to 3,000 caps and try again. Cry your pardon, Leon. Sir Daniels, we've received word. One of our spies in California has located the runway in Eastwood. And? He's declared his intention to apprehend her and claim the reward. No, 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 no. No! I will not spend a single cap more hiring degenerates. I will go myself. What do you expect? Uh, uh. That's enough, Daniels. Send word to my brother. 
I'm sure he would be more than willing to support my cause. You may go. I mean, is it a big cave? Are there other things in it? It's a bloody cave, Twig. There's probably more than just jet in it. Like what? Like, like giant mutant bugs? Giant mutant animals? Giant mutant robots? Robots don't mutate. Nor do they get giant. Why is it a cave? You grew up in a vault. That's just a cave with air conditioning. What is your deal with caves all of a sudden? I don't have a deal with caves. I have a deal with small spaces. Your vault was wall to wall fatty. Small spaces were all you had. I know, but I was the skinniest. And I was picked on the most, so the guys would always put me in small spaces to make fun of me. You know, ha ha, you're so skinny, you can fit in this fridge, whereas we cannot. And ha ha. I mean, a fridge is small, you know? And, oh, okay, mine, mine was kind of big. Wait, wait. Maybe not shooting at us. <laughs> okay, what now? Well, this is me collecting a pretty little bounty on a pretty slave. <clears throat> Bye, Menon. You know, this is like the fourth time this week. You know, I expected this from you, just not so close to Eastwood. We're pretty far out. And what Mayor Connors doesn't see doesn't really concern him now, does it? Shouldn't see your cars, little lady. Oh! oh. Holy shit! And I thought this was gonna be boring. <laughs> God damn, smooth skins! God damn it! How are we supposed to cash in on the bounty if she's dead? You gave the nod. That, that's a sign to shoot her. Yeah, yeah, it would have been if we were planning on returning them alive! That was a puncher in the face nod. Now I have to kill you. Oh, oh. Saves me the bullet. <laughs> No, oh, oh. Let's talk about how you're gonna surrender and drop your gun so I don't have to kill any of you. Now drop them. Scar, please. <laughs> All right, now let's have a little powwow. We'll chat and I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna work. Sound fair? Shit. All right, asshole, here's how it's gonna play. Call off your goons and it won't blow off your goddamn head. Who was covering him? Me? May I? Kill the bitch. Now, I still got you outnumbered. I still got a shotgun to your head. Ben. Screw it. Come on, Chris. Really? Why, Daisy? Ha! Ha! Water purifier. It's still coming a little bit yellow, but we'll get there. Uh, what the hell is that? 
Oh, it's you. Uh, found this in the back. Uh, figured you might like it. Uh, can't believe he just ran away like that. You know, it's not like him to ditch us like this. No, I'm just surprised I didn't do it first. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. Good to know you care. Hey, I care. I'll... I asked about your arm, didn't I? No, you didn't. Holy shit. Who wants barbecue? Um... I am done being hunted. Now we're even. Go. You okay? No. Why did you do that? It's a long story. Were you in on it? No. Not as far as I know. It was just supposed to be a run-of-the-mill suicide mission, nothing more. Why did you save him? Because I owed him. Yeah? yeah? Well, now you owe me. All right, fine. I mean, well, we can fix no, this. No, we can! We can go get Larry and kill him! Okay, well, yeah, we can, but I'm talking about more than just that, low life. I mean, ending it. Done. Yeah. Guys. We go to the source. Yeah, but last time we went against that guy, it went real sideways. Well, how do you say that? We rescued Scar. Not how I remember it. What do we do? I just want this to be over. Well, all right, if we're gonna die, let's do it in style. Scare back in Eastwood. Excuse me, Toots. Uh, out of the way. Surprised to see me. Pay up. You're crazy. I ain't got that. Well, I'm cashing out. Larry, you can't just come in here. I don't have can- Now. Go. Vanish. What did you get yourself into this time? I have to get out of town before that fat vault dweller gets back. What, you can't just come in here and nuts? I don't have it. Pay me what you Stop. can. Did you see? Fat vault dweller? I mean, like, I noticed he was kind of a touchy feely guy or whatever, but it doesn't really bother me. We need to stop. What? Why? Because it's getting dark. So? So, I don't travel at night, I can't see, you know that. Yeah, you know, I'm kinda tired, we can stop. It's like right there! 
Okay, well then give me a gun. No. Yes, if we're going to sleep, I want to be armed. And this is my gun, not yours. No, he's blind and you're an idiot. And you're that sword thing. Give me a gun. I'm not an idiot. What? Oh, you were on a thing. He... You're both idiots. I... Crazy bitch! I can't go back there. They're looking for me. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Not the slave and her two idiot friends. Leon! Oh, so what? Leon's looking for everybody. Lucky for me, he already thinks I'm dead. I am really not gonna get crucified. Either shoot me now, or let me go. Oh, poop. Guys! Larry! Shit. I mean, you really took care. I leave your girls alone for five seconds, you start shooting each other. What the hell's going on? Where did he go? I have no idea. All right, who did this? I know it wasn't you. You can't just vanish like that. He has to be hiding. Why would he? Why? Who are you talking about? I don't care. We need to go. He was right here! Well, let me know when you find him. Are you sure we can't just kill him? little spy. I suppose you didn't capture Scarlet like you intended. Uh, no, Leon, I obviously did not. Mm. Well, that's a shame. There, you know what I do to people that disappoint me, right? Uh-huh. So, can you think of one good reason why I shouldn't do that to you right now? Second, one second, one second. Ah. I know where they are. Really? And you have to give me a second chance because I can bring her to you. Well, where are they? South of here. I set up an ambush for her and her friends, but. Right, yeah, and then you've screwed it all in. I'm not surprised. Hmm. There. You think they're gonna be coming back? Probably. I doubt the fat one can go very much farther without a snack. Uh, uh. So then, my Scarlet isn't in the town right now. She wasn't when I left. Thanks, Lair. Daniels?
Bring me Artemis, please. Sir, isn't that a bit too much? How you got that? Eh, I was in a hurry. And you can afford this out? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, did you steal that? No, I. Be still my heart. Guess I did. You know, there may be hope for you yet, Fatty. That doesn't make me feel good. Oh, good. I think we're being followed. Yeah, I know. What do you mean, you know? I mean, I know. And what are we gonna do about it? Nothing. If he's gonna reveal himself, it'll be on his terms, not ours. No. No, no. not this time. Give me this. Hey! Twig. Where are you? Hey. Come on! You come out! You stop! Well? Stop! What do you just hold on? You know, I'm impressed. You wait for all these other assholes to whittle us dry so you can just walk in and take her. Well, you're not gonna get her. I'm not here for her. What else can be doing out here? Protecting you. Protecting us? No, just you. Just me. Okay, well, you know, I appreciate the gesture, but I don't need your protection. Piss off. Let's go. Eldridge. What? Benjamin Eldridge. Hunting a fox, Daniels. Take away the nest. Fox can't go home.
Well, I've got my good boots and I've got my good hat and my gun is holstered by my side. Searching for something though I don't know where it's at for a place to rest my head down at night. My head at night. Lead me home, lead me home to a place I call my own. Got a few drops left in my canteen of gin. Canteen of gin. Lead me home, lead me home. So tired of being alone. Gotta find a home for this outlaw of sin. 